Hey, Hobby World, Zach and Porter back with another PC appreciation video. Yeah, as we mentioned in our Dylan Cease video, got hit with the double whammy. Two of Porter's favorite Chicago athletes sent away packing within the same week. So Dylan Cease went to the Padres, and of course the Bears traded Justin Fields to the Pittsburgh Steelers. It sounds like they uh, traded him to where he wanted to go, even though it meant less in return for the Chicago Bears. Um, I, thought talked they about... would, I thought they would at least get a pick for him in this year's draft. Yeah. But they got a sixth-round pick in the 2025 draft. And if he, play, if he gets enough playing time, then it turns into a fourth-round pick. Yeah, and I don't know where I, – I don't follow college football as closely as most, and I do not have time invested in looking up Caleb Williams. So – I'm a, I'm a Bears fan, so I'll go with what, the way the organization goes. But I really like Justin Fields, and I, I like the way he carried himself. And he, since Hester, he was the most exciting Bears player yes. uh, to watch. Even the season that um, we ended up having the worst record, that was one of the most fun. I'd watch, yeah. <laughs> watch the Bears because every time he touched the ball, you just didn't know what he was going to do. But, you he know, had obviously, that, like, 61-yard rushing touchdown in the Dolphins game. Yeah, but obviously he didn't do enough to – to create zero doubt to keep moving forward. As I told Porter, if we didn't have the number one pick, we probably would keep rolling with fields. But it does give us the opportunity today to showcase um, some of your uh, PC, actually all of your PC of Justin Fields cards. So that stack. you are uh, exactly number 35 on TCDB with 35 cards. Yeah. So you're going to showcase uh, your favorites here, and you're going to start with him on the old Buckeyes uniform. All right. So this is a Leaf rookie from 2020, I believe. Yeah. And I want to say... 2021. A lot of these rookies we ended up getting from Bo's store uh, in that time frame where Fields had his first year and he wasn't too hot, and so there wasn't a ton of opportunity. You know, he wasn't expensive. Uh, certainly not like the Tyson Badgent craze that happened a little bit i so pulled here, this i think yeah so here we're getting into the rookie cards the playbook with him actually on the bears playoff this one you surprised me and bought from Bo. What? this one from prestige i kind of like that with the uh, ohio state on there yeah and it's like a red in the background like scarlet ish so it pops crusade rookie from prism 2021 premier draft. I love this next one because it mimics 1989 score. And is that like a pink variation? I believe so, yep. And is this a red foil, this score that I'm about to show? I believe this is a red variation too, yep. Score rookie card. And then love, again, the 1991 score uh, variety here. Love that card. From Absolute. Now, I want to say you got that from Kyle. I don't know. I think you did. By Storm. Another rookie card logo. Flamethrowers from Mosaic. And this one doesn't have the RC shield on it. Uh, rookie Wave from Playoff. Um, Celebration. I'm trying to see. Was this the Niners game? That was the Niners okay, game. Okay, yeah. so that was one of his first breakout plays. It looked like he was dead to rights. It was third down. Uh, not the year that he had the huge breakout with the over 1,000 yards rushing, but this was the one where he, uh, I mean, turned a play from nothing into something. And that was kind of what he had. You know, that was his brand. He just that, he had he those did plays. That all the time. Yeah, he had those plays. That was a, a, such a cool game. I think we ended up losing that game. Yeah. But he uh, he certainly made it interesting. If he, that was in twenty twenty three, or no twenty twenty two. So yeah, it if that picture was taken in the twenty twenty two season, then yes, we would have lost that game. Yeah. No, actually, I don't think it was because never mind. I. I think the Niners game was the first game in the 2021 season. Well, you're right. Because the Monsoon That was the Monsoon game. This was a different Niners game. Yeah. He had that, yeah. He had that great run. Because if we played the Niners in 2022, we would have lost. Because the only teams we beat that season were the Texans, the Patriots, and somebody else. Or maybe it was the Niners. I can't remember. I don't believe we won that game. I remember it was... It was all for nothing. Yeah. 
Same thing with the Steelers comeback that year. Yeah, I think he had a I great re- game, and then we couldn't close it. That was a, there was a terrible team. Yeah, remember that one Steelers game with Nagy when he made Cairo kick the sixty-five yard field. Well, goal? and that that's part of the story with Fields. You know, he, I mean, what the Bears did to him his rookie year. I always like that one. Was kind of deplorable. I mean, they they they, they definitely sh- didn't put him in the right spot. They they started getting him a few more weapons, obviously with Moore, but. Um, Hopefully they've learned from their mistake, and if they are bringing in Caleb Williams, he's going to have two Pro Bowl wide receivers, a solid tight end, uh, you know, much better offensive line. But it was uh, it was certainly not all on fields, and we hope he does great things uh, for Pittsburgh. And we yeah. said before, it's exciting that he went to your second favorite team because now you really have uh, a guy that you can cheer for on that AFC side. Mm-hmm. Uh, Prism from 2023, Ohio State card. This select is cool. Yeah, I like that. It's like a red, blue, and pinkish kind of. Then lastly, an elite card. Neat. So certainly not as many cards of fields that you did uh, see. But you had 35 unique cards, and you certainly ramped up in that downtime. It wasn't the year he got drafted, and it wasn't the year he had that breakout season. It was during that time frame where, I mean, we were finding him in the dime box. And yeah. it was a lot of fun to just pick those up. So we uh, we will move and start another chapter in Chicago Bears quarterback lore. Yeah. You're getting used to this, aren't you? I'm getting used Hopefully to this. Hopefully we're going to break the streak. I thought we broke the streak here, but I guess we, uh, we'll go a little bit further. But this was a lot of fun. A lot of great memories of you and I watching fields together. And we hope to... Make some more with the new regime. I want to thank you all for watching and subscribing. Bye-bye.